for people who don't know, so like you're tied to this entity and she was first given up to for adoption when she was born. Um, and then even her adoptive parents, when her powers started coming out, were scared of her because they didn't know how to like contain it. So they gave her to this facility for them to monitor her and help her control her powers. And then um, while she was at the facility, she ended up joining the CIA. She became like a special weapon for the government kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. Um, the, the one thing about this game for people who don't know, you kind of jump. There is the remix um, that you could play, which actually puts it in chronological order. But I did the I did it how the game was like how the developers wanted you to play it so you kind of jump from time to time like at one point you're like five and then you jump to where you're like thirty and then you go back to when you're like fifteen and then you jump to where you're twenty so you jump like all over the place. Wow, what a great game! Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, everyone lives. Yeah, it's so, so good. Unlike the children that I almost killed, I was like I hate bullied. And then after like a while, I'm like oh, I have become the bully. I need to stop. <laughs> I like even people like stop me, stop me, no, stop me, no. I got first Pebbles like, yes, scare them. And then like all of a sudden Pebbles was like, okay, Stuffy, you can calm down, Stuffy. Stuffy, stop. Stuffy, stop. 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 <laughs> Just to of life like my name like 40 times. Stop. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I, I probably should stop. Because <laughs> it went from me like blowing out, because I was using Aiden. It went from me blowing out candles and throwing things to scare the, the bullies that were bullying me to me like literally shoving them into furniture. <laughs> you started throwing furniture. Yeah, that's what I was like. Oh, I think I've gone too far. But yeah, so we're at the phase where she's like an emo teenager. That's where we um, left off. And she's kind of like that angst, like rebel stage at the moment. Don't give a fuck stage kind of thing. That's where we left off. Like other girls. Yeah, she wants to be normal, but of course she can't because of her powers. Of course she went through these phases. Yeah, it's interesting how she, like, she was in the CIA. I said no. End of story. And stuff Please, like that. Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Joey. Poor girl. Just she, she just wants to be normal. How come everyone can go and I can't? I do everything you <laughs> ask me this all week, and I never get to have. I actually love well, the that actor, time, the Green Goblin actor. Like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and yeah, that's a sad thing. Be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. That's really need sad. To get used to that. People that are different want to be normal. People that don't want to be different. Well, you started before I got back. What? Right. What? I beep you had 30 ah! minutes. <laughs> and I thought you were messy. Oh my god, Dad. You were just the worst. Ugh. William Defoe. It's I love him. He's great. I'm curious if he will return to the new Spider Man movie. That would be cool because he's a good actor. He does a good job. Yeah. Yeah, see, she's at that age where she's like, just leave me alone. Get out of my room. I'll be next door. Let me know if you need anything. She's like the typical like angst teenager. Look, she's got like the skull crossbones, the makeup, the outfit, these noises she's made. Eh. Eh. <laughs> she got the dyed hair. I went through this kind of stage too, where I kind of dressed a little like emo punkish. What? What does she look? Cola? What do you mean cola? She says cola over here. What cola are you look? Coal? It's Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here. Come on, I just want to go out and have some fun. Oh, that's right. That's her nurse's, the nurse guy's name. Can't do it, babe. Rules yeah. are rules. Oh, poor Cole. Um, convince? Just for 30 minutes? I'll be real fast. Come on, Cole. Please. She just wants to be a normal Please girl for one night. But the last time she tried to be normal, we, we shoved, we shoved children into furniture. Me. When Pebs asks you to play music and you listen to me, listen, there's been times that I've gone back to just chatting screen for you and waited me. So don't you give me that. Call. Girls just want to have fun. Oh my God, her room has definitely changed. I mean, at least I don't force her to like live in her pink room because living in that pink room would have drove me crazy. Bed? <laughs> what are you doing to your poor pillow? Th that pillow would be covered in eyeliner. That's a tiny bed. I literally think that's the same bed she's pretty much been sitting in since, or like sleeping in since she was a child. What am I, just throwing a fit? Just a tantrum? She's like, meh. <laughs> Calm down, Karen. <laughs> this is how Karens are born. They start off like this. What do you want from me, Kate? Are we breaking out? I'm pretty sure Aiden's gonna help her break out. If I had to think, I'm gonna take a guess Aiden's gonna help her break out. I believe that. Oh my god, have you guys ever had one of these- Why did the camera angle change really weird? That's a- why- why is this a camera angle thing? Aiden? 
Oh, he angry. Do something for God's sake. Oh, she wants Aiden to do something. Have you ever had these soap dispensers though that have like the like the three containers? They're like the worst. They're the worst. They get clogged so easily. <laughs> Demons. I'm guessing she wants Aiden to do something, but he doesn't. What do you want him to do? Block the camera? Cause I can go out here. Can I mess with him? Stop it, Cody. This is not gonna do you any good. You're grounded. Period. Oh, she's grounded. It's not like that. That she can't leave. She's actually grounded. What? And I want to go play outside. <laughs> hey, Jody. You know better than to use Iden when you're angry. Oh, so they do understand it's not really her. They do understand it's like um, Aiden or Iden. I say Aiden. So they do realize it's not really her doing it. It's uh, um, Aiden. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> Getting you nowhere. Eat it. <laughs> screw this drawer. And screw this drawer. I mean, if anything, she's just making a mess for herself. Stop it, Oh. They don't give a shit if we break everything in this goddamn room. Oh, do you, for, first you want me to break things, now you will. don't want me to figure out what will? Phone. You have a phone? Who has a phone? Oh, you have a phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. She smashed into the apartment. I can. Oh, I've got. I can possess Cole? Well, <laughs> come, Cole. Let me out of my room. Did someone quote Star Wars when Sumi became the bully? <laughs> I don't think so. What, when Ant. Like when Anakin was killing children? Don't they realize that. That's kind I'm of I'm really sorry, Cole. No, you're not. I hate myself for doing this. I love Cole. He's so sweet. He became like... You understand, right? Again, Nathan or... Yeah, Nathan and Cole became like new parents I to her. I need to go out tonight. Except Nathan's more like a dad and Cole's more like a big brother. If you think about it. Uh, but yeah, like Cole's like a bigger brother and Nathan's like the dad. Like a strict dad. What? It's too late to turn back now. I would be really creeped out having Cole with no pupils following me. Stealth talk. Dun, 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 dun. Listen, every time I hear stealth, I just, I have really bad memories of a game that had honor in it. Which, what is Nathan again? It's the Green Goblin. Nathan is Green Goblin, yeah. He's the uh, stupid, main doctor. Stupid, this is not the right way. Well, I don't really want to go right out the front door. I'm trying to be sneaky, woman. Excuse me, woman, I'm trying to be sneaky. Yeah, I was trying to go out the back door, but apparently not. Let's not be stealthy. Let's just go right out the front door. Is there anything? Hello? There's a lot of... There's a lot of key locks. Numpad locks. Oh, but fucking Cole's gonna give me a stroke. <laughs> Cole, I need you... I need you to... I think I need your key card. Cole? Cole, I need... Cole, I need you to... Cole, I need... Fine. <laughs> Locked. Of course it is. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do before, and you wouldn't let me. <laughs> I need to just yoink. How is if you did chat? You do chat? You know I'm doing good. You know, play a game, beat emo. You know, it's like good time. Ugh, just slide the cart. <laughs> God, I feel like doing tasks in like Among Us, where I was like, again, I was like, I must slide key cart forty times. While he's possessed of a long time, I wonder if that has any effects on them when they've been uh, mungus. Um, when they've been possessed, does that have any effect on them? Like, I know when she uses her power sometimes, her nosebleeds, but I wonder if that affects them at all. Being possessed, I want to sub, but I have some... Oh, you're fine, Baron. I know. It's fine. I appreciate you just being here, Baron. How... There's no security in this facility? You're telling me there's not one security guard? I guess Cole was supposed to be kind of her security. That didn't, um... That didn't, you know, work out. Whenever you do some... Cole? Oh, Jody? Bit late for day trip, isn't it? Uh, 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 for sure. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just want, feeling, I just want to breathe. I'm not. I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling sick. So we were just gonna go, um, and get some fresh air. You okay? Um, you want, you want us to call the infirmary? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Put the phone down. There's no need. I'm um. So I'm doing. No, um, Cole's looking after. Doing me, on the first. So, so right, I appreciate that, Barry. That's very sweet. Yeah. So. What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Oh, fuck. 
That's true. On night shift, when I work night shift, like, instead of, like, a boy, uh, speak? Wait, can Aiden make him speak? He lost, he, he lost his voice. He lost his voice? What? I think it's like a, a virus or something. I'm, that's more than, that's more than I've gotten out of him all, all day long, so. But when I worked night shift, the day shift had like 10 employees and the night shift had like three. <laughs> so I understand when I work night shift. Safer for all of us. Please don't, did that actually work? You are the worst security guard. Go on now. I'm so confused. You get better rewards of it. That's true. That's true. You get you get fancy things. You get stickers and t-shirts. Very fancy. How did that work? At least we don't have to look for Cole's car. So wait, can Aiden not make him speak? Or is it just because Aiden did, wouldn't know what There's to say? There's cameras everywhere. I yeah, not hang around here too wait, long. Wait, is Aiden going to drive? I don't trust Aiden driving the car. Aiden, no. Oh, that's time to go for a joy ride. We're gonna we're gonna crash. This is gonna be like drug drive. Aiden, I need you to Aiden, I need you to um sir? Sir, I need you to I Aiden Aiden <laughs> I like how to try everything before Aiden just stands there menacingly. Now get in the car and start it up. Also, oh, they're mentally connected, so she just has to think it and, and um, Aiden does it. It's gonna be like a bike sequence. No! I was thinking more like it, um, Heavy Rain has a car seat, and I literally crashed that car, I think, like three times. Oh. Um. Jody, do you wanna get in the car? Or am I just gonna pull you along for the ride? Jody, get in the car! Get, get in the car, Jody! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Damn. I don't like driving games. There's a reason. Uh, exit? Oh, because I have to be out of sight? Oh, because I'll see her leaving. Uh, trunk? This seems fine. <laughs> like, I like, I like Need for Speed. I was good at Need for Speed, but I'm not like, like Grand Theft Auto and stuff. I'm not good at those games. Let's go. Try not to attract attention, okay? <laughs> I'll try not to scream the truck. Help! <laughs> I'm being kidnapped. Can nobody see his eyes? Please tell me he he reports it. Oh my god! What did he realize that Cole's supposed to be monitoring Jody and think it's a little weird for him? These are the worst security guards ever. I would be fired if I acted like any of these security guards on night shift. I don't care if it's night shift low security. Shame on these people. Perfect crime. Good job. I did it. I've kidnapped. I've kidnapped Jody. I did it. The perfect crime. And no one knew. <laughs> uh, Open the trunk. Ate it. <laughs> Escape suckers. This reminds me of like when we would. Uh, well, I never did it, but my dad and my grandparents used to tell stories. Just forgive me, right? Uh, they used to hide their friends in the soon. trunks when they would go to drive-in theaters or drive-through or Don't yeah, worry, yeah, the drive-in theaters. Fine. So they'd only pay for one person, but their four friends would be in the trunk. Okay, Aiden, take him into the forest. Make sure he's safe. Oh no. Don't tell me something's gonna happen to Cole. Really? Really? Jody, Jody, you're just gonna leave him in the forest? Why don't you leave him in his car? Why don't you leave him in his car so he feel that he's safe? Turns out you suffocated, you, you imagined. Why can't he just- I was say, why can't he just stay in the car? Unless she needs to take the car? Oh, I bet she's gonna take the car, that's why. Jody, This is a little fun- I feel bad! <laughs> you, go to, you go to the CIA after- I would- yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, like, I think, like, cause I think she's like 16, 15 here. When she turns like 20, she joins the CIA, and I'm like, I wouldn't want anybody that's done this to their, like, comrade to join the CIA. This is fucked up. Co poor Cole! He's such a- if something happens to Cole, I'm gonna be very upset. This is all a fever dream you're not hallucinating. She's not really tied to an entity, it's all just a big dream. Why do I feel like Aiden might have like hurt him on accident? Oh yes, let me go to a bar. Oh, this has well, this is the place. Where's the your friend? Must be inside already. I feel like this is a prank. Wait, is she 21? Maybe she's 21. I thought she'd be like 15, 16. 
I can't even tell what age she is anymore. We jump around too many times. She's she's alive. I don't think so. I was gonna say a bar, so it's gonna for. I was gonna say I think she's only yeah. That's why I'm like, how are they gonna let her in? And I I would meet my friends outside, but oh, but she doesn't have a phone to text them. This is bad juju. Like, I I like it's really bad for a girl to go to a bar by herself. I'm just saying, like, this is I'm not bad. Here yet. Yeah. We'll wait. Wait outside. Outside. Wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, this would be... I would never, never go to a bar or club by myself. How old are you, miss? I'm... 21. That was the worst I just one. Want to that was the worst lie ever, especially when everyone turns and stares at you. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't like how they're all eyeing her. Yeah, like that, that's creepy. Also, that actor... Wait. Well, we know she's not gonna die now, at least. I mean, that's true. The guy at the bar, is that the same guy who operates the house in um, Detroit Becomes Human? The house where Kara gets all like, or the, or the, not the, it, not the guy who operates the house. Um, the husband. Remember the guy, the guy that orders the android after his wife dies? Doesn't it look like him at the bar? I, unless that's an Easter egg, but it looks like the same model. He looks like Kara, oh, yeah, he looks like Kara's owner. That's why I was like, it's freaking me out. I know they're supposed to be like slightly tied into each other, I think. Like there's like little Easter eggs from each game. Drink your drink your damn lemonade. <laughs> like I know there's an Easter egg in like heavy rain that hence hints at like Detroit. Hey, don't waste the lemonade. I mean I, delicious mmm scrumptious. <laughs> yeah, he freaks oh I don't like how they keep eyeing her either. I mean lemonade is pretty good. What are you doing? Uh 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 you wanna play some pinball? How do you have money? Does Nathan give you bun buns? I played video game. I played the video game within the video game. <laughs> I asked question. Oh, what's the question there? Yeah, they're like checking her out, which is really creepy. Because she's so young. I would say it depends on the peak lemonade. Are we talking about like raspberry, strawberry? Like raspberry lemonade is good. I like raspberry lemonade. Wanna shoot some pool, darling? I also like strawberry lemonade. I'd say pink lemonade, but it really depends on what kind. Sure. I think it'd be worse for her to say no. Josie's a gamer girl. I think it would be worse for her to say no. Just say no! Ladies first. I think it would have been worse for her to say no though, because I think they would have gotten aggressive. And I don't need them to be get aggressive. Holy nice shit! Shot. That was a good opener. No, don't shoot in front of him, though. What you doing in here, all on your own, sir? By the way, is this the guy who? It looks like it. Oh, it is the guy. Um, truth. Just waiting for some friends. About to meet some friends. Yeah, just say you're about to meet oh, some friends. I'll be here any minute. <laughs> so wait, is it an Easter egg, or is it actually supposed to be the actual guy before his like wife and kid die? I'm just curious about that. Trying to hustle me, girl. I mean, where there's no Could money on the table. Oh, it's just the same actor. Kind of young to be in here. Because again, I know there's Easter eggs from each of their games inside oh, the other yeah. games. Uh, uh, uh. Nearly seventeen. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. I, th I thought she'd just be like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm age. Whoa. I'm impressed. They are just not tied, okay. Yeah, because I know they put little Easter eggs of each of their games in the other games. Like, I know there was, like, a reference Your to, like, Kara in Heavy Raid. Stop being creepy, but... Uh, 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 just be nice. Just be nice. Actually, I snuck out to meet my friends. Oh. Oh, yeah, your friends. The ones who ain't just, showing just up. Just be nice. Yeah, he's a little creepy. How could there be a reference to Kara? I thought there was. Somebody told me when, um... When Durgan played Detroit Become Human, that apparently there's a reference to, like, hey, Kara. Yeah, I saw that coming. You know you want to. Yeah, I saw that coming. Slap face. Uh, uh, repulse. Don't slap. It was... Yeah, I saw that coming. This is why you don't do... Oh, Aiden is pissed. Oh, Aiden is pissed. She just said she was nearly... Was that... Yeah, that's really creepy. Where are you, creep? Show yourself. Come out, you fucking coward! The game is much older than Detroit? 
I don't. Oh no, there's a reference to I think heavy rain in Detroit, but it's one of the other. I just remember when Durgan played it, somebody said that there's a reference to both, like the other game and, and the one. I have no sympathy. Why do I tear it off the wall? No paintings for you. Wait, the bar, the partner. I think the bartender's not in on it, but he's not doing anything about it. I think he's just like a, he's an accomplice by not doing anything kind of thing. We gotta get out of Fuck here, man. I don't like it. I tried so hard. I, mean, no, I know fine. you did, Splushy. I was gonna say, I'm like, you didn't make the 12 hours. I saw, I was like, but uh, 12 hours is hard. Perish! <laughs> this guy's just standing with a pool cue like, where is he? Where's he at? <laughs> but happy birthday, Splushy. I hope you have a good birthday. Oh. Get him! Yeah, it's fucked up that after he heard that she's 17, he's doing this. It's like some fucking spirit come to punish her. That's some spirit? <laughs> That's an understatement. Fuck it, Earl. I don't want to die. Nobody's dying. We're getting the fuck out of here. Is there a way for me to lock the door? Oh, no, they're just going to run. Oh, jeez. This maybe because I got interrupted. The you got interrupted. Oh, I'm sorry, Open Spooky. the goddamn door. Oh, it's, it's locked. Hand. It's stuck. Get out of the way. I'll break it down. Oh. Possession. Oh, it's strangle. No, don't strangle. We don't need to kill. There, possess. That's what I wanted. There we go. You get the hell out of here, Earl. You scumbag. What we, oh, no, 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 wait, no, possession and trust is that possession? Listen, I, I forget that orange is possession and red is snap the neck. See, let's just, just, just open the door. We, we're not going to kill people. Oh my God. It's like, once again, I just said, listen, she just said she was, well, yeah, but I also don't want to like commit mass murder either. Jody. Poor thing. Oh my God. Are you all right? I mean, at least Cole is okay. Oh God, what happened? <laughs> this is why you don't go out by yourself. She, be like everyone else for once. she needed to wait for her friends. Oh, no. Poor thing. It's she just okay. wanted to be normal and hang out with her friends. Okay. Poor thing. And even Cole feels bad because he probably he feels like he probably feels like he's responsible for her going out. Kill them. <laughs> family <laughs> wait how the hell did they find her um they probably followed the screaming also i think he she had told nathan before that she wanted to go to the bar to meet up with friends so i think she, he she had already like mentioned where she'd go well she did say where she wanted yeah wanted to go at the beginning yeah no the red oh the red next yeah i i because again i i forget that red is strangle and orange is possession so that's like the difference like i was like oh fuck when i was strangling him like, I just wanted to spook him and get him out of there. I didn't really want to kill kill the gross, but they are, they were really gross. Especially when she's like, like, cause again, like if you're in that situation, you want to say you're waiting for friends. So then they don't, they don't, they think you're not alone. Cause that's why I was like, okay, talk about your friends. So they don't think you're alone. But I thought also saying that I'm 17 would have gotten them to back off, but then they got even creepier. Also, I think the mistake she made too, is that she tried to take a shot like right in front of him. And then he, of course he got a chance to grab her. Um, only 10% of the, let the attackers escape, so almost everybody killed them. So past the entrance guard, which we did, which I still don't understand how we did that. Didn't hear the customer. Wait, didn't hear the customers? What does that mean? Like, I did what, like, didn't eavesdrop on them? Beat the attackers, I mean, we beat them. Snuck, um, or rushed out the DPA. Um, stayed in the bar. Wait, oh, I could have left? I didn't realize I could have left the Oh, I could have probably waited outside for my friends. Probably could have waited outside for them. That would have been smart. Uh, the attacker. I like how almost everybody killed the attackers. You probably could overhear them. I don't know. Like, even though they were gross, I don't think killing was the right answer. Because then again, if she killed them, Nathan and Cole might put her on, like, what do you call it? On more lock and key. Like, she'd be guarded more because now she's killing people. Like, if I had killed the teens in the beginning and then I killed the people here, they would they would think that Jody doesn't have control over Aiden and she's just going, like, willy-nilly. Like, if she has a tantrum, she just kills people. And they put her on, like, more lock and key and guard or roar heavily but hey, you hey you did it you're so i'm so good i still feel really bad i feel like i should have killed them because it was really creepy you are you are moto stuffy do stuff <laughs> it's punishment time um yeah i just didn't think it was good to like kill them like it was good to scare them off like if anything they probably think it was karma coming after them for trying to like 
assault her. Um, but yeah, I think using the shotgun and stuff was probably a little bit much. But you did kill Sam and Jess and listen! <laughs> It was an accident. Technically, Mike killed himself. <laughs> what he did? Technically, what was he survived five explosions? I thought he could survive the sixth one. Sassy punishment time. It's punishment time. So you're no super good. I'm only like slight. I'm like on a good scale. I'm like seven out of ten. <laughs> okay, damn Wade. <laughs> oh, cool. okay, Damien. <laughs> Damien. Oh. I think you can only say Mike if everyone survives. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know in that situation, it's, like, really tough. Like, for me, personally, like, in a situation, I probably wouldn't be able to control myself. Like, if I was her with Aiden, I probably would have killed them. But as an outside look, I was like, even though they're really gross and creepy, I don't think they just, nobody really deserves it. Well, I'm not going to say that. But, I mean, like, we shouldn't just kill people, because then that guilt would be on our shoulders. Oh, my God, imagine Monokuma in that voice. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's punishment time. <laughs> Like, just get it over with already. Lord, forgive us for having me have seen all those bloody emotes. He was trying to take advantage. He was. I know, Nightwing. But I'm just saying, like, I don't, I don't think, like, snapping the neck and shooting people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, punishment time. Am I wrong? <laughs> like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. It's punishment time. Am I wrong? <laughs> I would have been like, Aiden, get them. Stick up. I don't know. It was, like, a tough decision. It was, like, morally, like... Morally, it's wrong to kill them, but, like, deep down, we all know we wanted to, to kill the dirty bed. This is great. <laughs> he deserves death. Everybody's like, they deserve death, but morally, it's like, oh, it's, that was a tough decision.